Hi, this is Nagin. So today I will show you how to run both Hyper-V and VMA orchestration in same machine. So only one option is there. So we can add a boot entry for that. So before that I already I installed VMA orchestration. So wait, I will go to the VMA orchestration. I mean power on. So everything is working fine. Okay. I mean no issues will get. Okay, so now I am going to install Hyper-V. Uh, before that, uh, I have to tell uh, why Hyper-V and VMware orchestration is not running the same machine. The reason is PTX mode, I mean virtualization should be enabled for these two. So, if you are running Hyper-V in your machine, Hyper-V took that option. So, VMware orchestration, I mean PTX mode is not available for VMware orchestration. So that uh once i mean hyper v running in your machine at this at the same time you can i mean, you can't run vm orchestration in the same machine so for that uh resolve that issue you have to add the boot entry so that you can swap into either hyper v or vm orchestration in the same machine okay i will tell you so how to install hyper v so uh, I mean, in your machine, go ahead. Uh, go to control panel. And the programs turn Windows features on or off. Click that option. So you can view Hyper-V. So you select option. I mean, once you have selected that option, you have, you have to reboot the system. I now I restarted my machine. So Hyper-V installed in my machine now. Okay. Showing. So Hyper-V now installed. Okay. So Hyper-V took that BTX mode that is a virtualization so that I can't run VMR orchestration now. I will get a error. Wait, I will show you. Okay, here is the error message. VMR orchestration and Hyper-V are not compatible. Okay. For this issue, we have to copy and create a new boot entry. How to do it? Go to command prompt with administrator privilege. So this command list all the boot options. Okay, here you have to create a new boot entry and copy existing one. Here I select the current one. Okay. successfully copied okay the next thing current boot entry we have to remove the hyper-v so that use this command How to check whether the new boot entry is loaded or not? Okay, so now new boot entry added. Okay, now you can select either Hyper V or the default one during the boot time. You don't have to press any keys, it automatically showing the both boot option. Then you will select whatever you want. Now I want to work with VMA workstation so that I select Windows 10 because if I select Hyper-V I can run only I mean I can run work with only Hyper-V. I have not selected the Hyper-V during the boot time so so that I can run the virtual machines without any error.
in the end. Okay. I mean, before that, we are, get, we are getting a error, right? So now no issues occur. We got any error message directly boot center signs. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching.